Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway Channel. Today, we will discuss the diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And uh, this lymphoma, it's a neoplasm of a medium or large B uh, lymphoid cells uh, with nuclei larger than those of the normal lymphocytes. Uh, this can happen at nodal sites and extranodal. And today, I'm sharing with you an extranodal diffuse large B cell lymphoma from the lamina propria of uh, urinary bladder. And this, now we are at the 2x, and I hope you can appreciate that maybe we can't identify that this is even a lamina propria because it's diffusely infiltrated with these nests. These nests from the low power, I can just um, uh, describe them as blue nests, and I'm not sure what I will see on high power, but I'm not happy with this uh, picture at this low power we have infiltration with these nests and we have some fibrous bands which can happen in diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And it seems that the cells at this low power, they don't look monomorphic or they don't look alike. We have different sizes from these cells. I'll go on higher power. I can see here a lot of cells and I can see a lot of uh, apoptosis uh, going on those small dots they might be apoptosis and we have here some large cells here again a lot of these apoptotic bodies and here we have some uh, crush artifact and the malignant cells they can crush easily so when you see some crushing or crush artifact please consider it seriously. It might be a malignant process going on. I'm on the 20X now. I just want you to see how bad these cells look. And they are of different sizes. And in between, maybe we have the normal lymphocyte. Uh, that's how we can differentiate between the size of this small nucleus and, for example, this large one. I went on a higher power on the 40X. If you can see this nucleus with these, uh, these um, uh, conspicuous uh, nuclei and another nucleus here. See how the morphology, this is another nucleus with conspicuous nuclei and another one here. A lot of these atypical cells they are in this field some apoptotic uh, bodies so a lot of necrosis a lot of atypical cells so for sure we have here a malignant condition going on and this is a large very large nucleus here and now we need to identify these cells whether they are lymphocytes or not so we will go for some special stains to identify them for the stains, I will go on lower power. So I'm now at the 4X and just want you to appreciate this is the CD20 and the CD20 stains the B cells. So as you can see, all these cells and this kind of infil infiltrate of the lamina propria, they all stain uh, for CD20. So these cells for sure are B lymphocytes. So we are dealing with lymphoma. And from the morphology on H and E, this lymphoma is a high grade or it's not indolent lymphoma by all means. So just to illustrate the stain here, that these cells are really taking the stain, the membranes, they are taking the stain. This is the CD3 to stain for the T cells. And yes, we have some T cells here scattered in between. But of course, you can see the difference between the B cells and the T cells. The B cells from the CD20 and the, B and the T cells here from the CD3, a big difference. So the majority of cells, they are B cells. So we are dealing with a type of lymphoma with uh, B cells. This is the CD10, 
and it has some staining, but the majority or the population in question, they are negative for CD10. So I'll consider this negative because most of this population, it's negative for CD10. This is uh, CD21, and we use it to um, stain the follicular dendritic meshworks. And here, of course, with this huge infiltrates of lymphocytes, we don't have any dendritic meshwork. It's all lost. As you can see, it's all lost. Again, to confirm this, we'll go for the CD23, which again stains the uh, dendritic uh, meshwork, the follicular dendritic meshwork, and it's all negative. Next is the BCL2, which is an important marker here to see how it stains uh, positive. And the BCL2 is positive in more than 50% of uh, DLBCL cases. And as you can see, the population in question is all stained by the BCL2. Just as, this is just higher magnification to show you that all the cells are taking the BCL2 stain. This is the BCL6. It's positive in this case. And to see whether they are positive, or not for the population in question, let's go on higher power to see whether these large cells are taking the stain or not. And as you can see here, these are large cells of different sizes. So the BCL6 is positive in this case. This is the MAM1 stain. And again, it's positive in this case. And in cases of um, diffuse large B cell lymphoma, we do the MEC, the CMEC. And here, in this case, it's positive for the population uh, in question. So just to confirm, let's go at a higher power and see these large cells. They are stained with the CMEC. To know whether this um, uh, lymphoma is a double hit or not, we do the BCL2, which we already saw, and it's positive, and we do the CMEC by FISH. If it is positive and the BCL2 is positive, then this is double hit. And maybe this is the last stain I will show you just to see the proliferation index in this case. And from the morphology, I suspect it will be high. And here it's very high, as you can see. And we considered in this case that it might be approaching 100% for these large uh, atypical cells. So this is the KI67. And as you can see, it's staining these large cells. To do the classification, the hands classification, we see the BCL6, the CD10, and the MAM1. So we considered this case with Hans uh, criteria as non-GCP uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel to see the complete series of the lymphoproliferative disorders.